What's going on guys and welcome back to Drive Hub and in today's video we're installing a hard bar shift knob into the C5 Corvette to solve one of the little issues that's plagued the C5 since I've bought it. So if you've been following along with the journey that has been this C5 Corvette, then one of the first videos I made was an annoying issue that I had with the shifter of the Corvette. Whenever I accelerated in the car, something in the shifter or shift knob vibrated. And the only way to make it stop was to hold my hand on the shifter at all times. And that was a pain in the ass. So in that old video back in November or December, whenever it was, I took the shift knob apart, I took a look at it, I reassembled everything making sure it was all tight, I went for a drive, and unfortunately it still rattled. So what I did after, thanks to some of your guys' comments, was off camera I took off the shift knob and I went for a drive. And lo and behold, there was no rattling. So that made things nice and easy for me and told me it was the shift knob. Then begged the question, what kind of shift knob am I gonna put in my C5 Corvette? Because I kinda liked the factory one. It was a little bit different. It wasn't just a circular shifter. It had a little bit of uniqueness to it. So after watching some videos and reading some forums, I decided that I wanted to put some racing spirit and heritage into my C5 Corvette. I found out that the C5R race cars used what was called a Delrin hard bar shift knob. And I decided, well, it's unique, and if it's good enough for the race car drivers, then I'm sure as hell it's good enough for the idiot that is me. So what I did was ordered a variant of the hard bar ray shifter that's on the C5R. You'll notice that the C5R shifter is white and it looks like it's a little bit longer. And please save the comments for what this thing looks like. Just, there are children watching, don't be commenting. We all know, yeah. So what I really liked about this shift knob was that even though it looks like it's taller than the factory one, which it is, the threads are actually set in more, about an inch and a half. So the shifter actually sits lower, but the handle is still at a nice height. So that's what I really liked about it. And I'm really excited to get this shifter in. Now, another great thing about the material that this shift knob is made from, Delrin, is it doesn't really transfer heat or cold. As you all know, and you've seen firsthand, I'm the idiot that drives his Corvette year long. If I went with a metal shifter, whenever I got in the car in the mornings in the winter, it would be freezing and it probably wouldn't warm up. So this material is very nice, it feels good, it's a little bit lighter than you'd expect for the size. So again, unless you missed my first video, I'm going to show you how to remove the factory shift knob and put on an aftermarket one. And then we're gonna go for a drive in the Corvette and see if this fixed the issue, which it better have. So again, the easiest way I found to go about removing the factory shift knob is to use two flathead screwdrivers. So I'll show you how it's done. First, you're gonna remove the shift pattern. And obviously if it's been removed and reinstalled enough, then you won't even need a flathead to remove this part. Just pry it up like that and it comes out. Then in the middle of the shifter, you have what is known as the devil's key. That's what everyone called it. And again, I'm sure if you watched my other video, you already heard my ramble about this, but it's a little metal key that keeps the shifter in place. But obviously with mine, you can hear that and you can see it. It still rattles around, even though the devil's key is in there and secure. So luckily with the new shift knob, we don't have to reuse that. There is no key anymore. That in itself will eliminate some rattling. But to remove it, all you're gonna do is take two of your flathead screwdrivers, get under one edge of it, get under the other, and slowly pry it up. Comes out like that. Some people also said in the comments of my last video that you could use a pair of vice grips. You could clamp onto it and shimmy it out like that. But I found that the flathead screwdrivers worked well for my case. So there it is. There's the little devil itself. Get it? And then you can unthread the shifter. Comes out like that. Very simple. 
And then you can do whatever you want with this, hang it on the wall, make it into a necklace, I don't know. So now we're gonna take the new shift knob. First we'll get a little comparison of the two. Look nothing alike, but there is quite a size difference. So now we're just gonna take the new shift knob. It's got the threads in it, there's no key or anything. And start to thread it on. And with this, you're just gonna thread it on until it's tight. I do like how it's lining up nicely with the factory shift boot. Tucks up nicely beneath there. It does thread on for a while. All right, I'm gonna stop there because I don't know how tough this material is and I don't wanna keep threading it on and just ripping through the threads. I don't know if there's a metal collar in there or something that stops it. So I'm gonna go there. It feels nice. The factory shifter itself seems to vibrate a little bit. That's not actually the, the shift knob. But again, this car has over 100,000 miles on it. So what can you do? So now we're gonna move some other cars out of the way. We're gonna take this on a little test drive, see how it feels. And most importantly, see if it makes any noise. still sits a little bit higher than factory. Not by much though. It's at a nice position. It's close to the steering wheel. That's what I like about it. It's going to take me a little while to get used to it. From what I can tell right now, it's actually not vibrating. So that's the best part. I'm not gonna go crazy out here with the accelerations because it's pouring out and I don't need to be that guy that crashed his Corvette on YouTube. spent the 40 something dollars but I actually really like the shift knob see there it wasn't vibrating ah, so now I'm spoofed One thing 
I really do like about this shift knob is how close it is to the steering wheel. Now the stock C5 shifter was in a good spot, but this one puts it at just the right height, so you're actually very close, well, depending on where you have your steering set at, but the shifter is actually very close to the steering wheel. And I like that so you can make a shift, but you can be right on the steering wheel. I don't know, I, I like that. I've driven hundreds and hundreds of cars. This setup now, it's exactly what I want. And I went with this black media blasted finish, and it actually really, really matches the jet black interior of my Corvette very, very well, actually. All right, guys, so the final verdict. Well, the shift knob didn't fix my problem. Now, I know what you guys are probably gonna say now. We told you so in the comments. You didn't listen to me. But when I took the shift knob off, the factory shift knob, and went for a drive, there was no rattling. So now I'm really lost. Again, this isn't a huge deal. It's not like it makes a ton of noise and this sound is different than the sound that I was having with the factory shift knob, if that makes any sense. So it's a much, much more muted rattling. I wish I solved the rattling in the first place, but what I ended up with was a shift knob that I actually really, really like. Again, I had no complaints about the factory shift knob in the C5, but right now with the steering wheel set back like this in my driving position, this thing feels awesome. The C5 already has a very, very short throw, and when you add this longer shift knob, even though it sits lower, the position that it puts your hands is really, really nice. And if you do have to do some crazy wonky stuff with the wheel, it's not like you're going to hit your hand on the shift knob. You still have a good four or five inches of space between there. <laughs> some of you guys out there, I'm sure, can measure that distance and prove me wrong. But again, personally, even though this didn't fix my problem, I'm a big fan of the shift knob. I really like the experience of driving this now, even though I already loved it beforehand. But the shift knob feels great. It's in an awesome position, and I really have no complaints about it, besides the fact that it didn't fix my vibrating sound. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content with the Corvette, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy motoring.